All right, yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Squad. I'm here back with a brand new banger on the channel, guys. Today's video, I'm gonna give you guys tips and tricks inside of Energy Assault. So go ahead, drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and without further ado, guys, let's get straight into the video. The first tip I actually want to go over inside this video because I feel like it's a very important one is a lot of people don't realize that the weapon you use is really important inside this game. And when I say that, I mean you need to use a weapon that you're best, you know, suited for. If you guys are a person who likes to fight like mid range to somewhat long range, you need to make sure you're using an AR. For instance, something like a Scar as an AR. A scorpion's ar and an ak is a you know basically uh ar so you want to make sure you're using you know appropriate weapon for the appropriate place that you have if you have smg and you like to you know fight really close combat fights that are quick and easy you want to make sure you're using an smg if you would like to fight like you know with one shot basically you want to use a sawn off or any other type of shotgun which i do not you know like shotguns but it is a really good you know way for you to play with a close combat play style so that's just one thing now, the next tip i want to give you guys is basically attachments a lot of people don't use attachments on their weapon and a lot of people need to understand they are really important and key to getting eliminations inside the game so for instance you guys can see there's sites for it um, i'm gonna give a better weapon example because i already have you know pretty much every site on that weapon it doesn't really give you a lot of options so as you guys can see for the site on uh, the scar it says red dot it says acog there are different uh, scopes and when you guys do spawn you'll see that it has like you know a different look to it and the suppressor is really important as well a lot of people don't realize but the you know uh I, I guess you could say suppressor does help you you know not be popped up on someone's radar which is really important a lot of people don't realize but if you're on someone's radar um it's pretty easy for you to be target or prey so you want to make sure you always have a silencer not because of that only but it does also help you with if you're trying to hit more shots it makes you a lot more accurate your weapon but i'm not sure if it does lower the damage i know in a lot of games the suppressor does lower the damage so that may be the case but i know it does help me hit a lot more shots and the next thing you guys need to get is the laser the laser helps you out a lot it really helps you if you're hit firing and i do have another part to go over with that hit firing uh, section so if you guys are not ready and the next thing is that you guys can actually get skins out of the game a lot of people don't know but you know you do get skins at a certain amount of eliminations with that weapon so that's just tip number one right there so the next one i actually want to show you guys is big c um firing modes a lot of people don't realize but there's something called firing modes inside of the game and you can basically change it by you know uh for instance you know pressing v on your you know um mouse so look if you guys see right here after two shots it'll stop shooting right that's i guess you could say semi-automatic that's one mode and you can press v and it'll only shoot one time so basically you have to top fire like so you can no longer it's no longer automatic it's a uh, it's basically just you know not even that uh, the other one is semi-automatic but this is not even this is just top fire i guess you could say burst mode so you need to make sure that you're using the appropriate mode if you want to spray a lot you have to use you know automatic and that's just tip number one right there make sure you're using the appropriate you know fire mode for your weapon and that's just easy to change now, the next thing that i want to actually bring up with like i said before it kind of does go with the laser you guys need to learn how to hit fire for instance hit firing is basically where you know shoot from like the left or the right not even left or right but when you don't even ads this is adsing or zooming in with your scope you don't want to do this if someone's really close let's say this is target right if the target's right here on ads it's gonna be harder for me to hit them right but if i just decide to be like this 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 I'm gonna hit a lot more shots and i'm gonna be able to be a lot faster throughout than scoping in and i'll be able to see as much you only really want to ads or you know scoping if they're really like let's say for instance right here or right here or even right here right or even right here but you don't want to do it from like you know too close adsing right here is stupid and it's gonna make you lose a lot more shots than you would have hit if you would have just you know ads i mean not ads which is basically if you would have just hit fire so next fact i want to show you guys is movement a lot of people don't know how to use movement correctly inside this game i get complimented a lot on my movements of this game even though i think i could you know improve my movement i'm gonna be showing you guys how to basically improve your movement right here you guys can see that um i'm diving when you shoot let's say for instance the enemy is right here right you don't want to stay in one position you want to make sure you're diving you're basically being evasive being evasive means you're basically moving around a lot and the player is not able to get you invasive means you know how to basically get close to the player without getting hit and evasive means you know how to get away from the player without getting hit and it's simple but a lot of people don't realize so let's say for instance once again someone's right here right instead of me going straight ahead at them and me just you know being able to be pre-fired i go from left to right you know i'm moving away and you know no one to basically drop it's basically called a drop shot if you guys play phantom forces a lot of people do this even inside of energy assault a lot of people do this as well it's basically kind of like a crouching type of thing but you can't really like you know uh how do i say it? you can't really crouch that much it's basically just diving you're just diving it's not really like a jump or double jump or anything like that you're just diving and it's just really important a lot of people don't realize 
how to do it but if you guys do not already i would definitely add it into your blade style because it's definitely a really important key to the game guys now i forgot to mention another thing but you guys need to learn how to target switch if you guys look at this clip you guys can see i'm not taking too long on an enemy if you guys take too long on an enemy or stay in one position it's going to make you really vulnerable so you never want to take too long on an enemy you want to be able to switch from one target to another quickly because once again if you're playing matches like team deathmatch it's really going to affect you badly so make sure you don't take too long too much time on an enemy but make sure you put an appropriate time and you kind of get that from game sense but yeah it's really easy and quick but go ahead and learn that all right now the next thing i actually want to bring up is a lot of people don't realize but this is really important your secondary is a really important key to how you play the game if you guys get someone really low you're gonna have to reload right so why reload and you know risk getting shot when you can just pull out your pistol or whatever type of secondary you have it's really important that you use your secondary i know i get criticized a lot for not using my secondary but you guys need to start using it like it's really important it really would reflect that you're a really better player if you guys were to start using it and a lot of people don't also realize this but when you guys are playing the game you do not want to be in one spot only i know i kind of over move it but a lot of people don't realize if you camp right here or let's say even you, even you camp inside the tower right someone's going to already know where you're at and they're going to use it against you you don't know where they are but they know where you're at and that's a really bad place for you to be at if they know where you are but you don't know where they are so make sure you're not staying in one place like so far you want to make sure you have fluent movement and you have fluent gameplay you want to be someone who's not too invasive but not too evasive you want to make sure you have a combination of them both and if you guys do you will reflect that inside of your gameplay all right guys now the next thing i want to go over is basically spawns inside the game you guys need to learn how spawns work like basically let's say for instance i spawn right here right and this little logo what you want to do is you want to understand how this map works for this one map i'll give you guys an example of their spawn they usually spawn sort of like around here you know maybe a little bit over here to the right or left over there but they will spawn on the opposite direction of you but if you have a bunch of teammates all around the map they could you know somewhere spawn around inside the middle if you have people all outlined on the outline of it but they always will be on the opposite direction of where you spawn or where your teammate mostly is let's say for instance my entire team is over here to this side right and i'm the only one over here they're most likely going to spawn inside these trenches and you can learn how to spawn kill right here don't i mean don't get me wrong spawn killing is a really abusive thing to do but it really is a good thing for you to do inside this game because it does help your kdr and it does help you get a lot of xp and kills so i would you know learn how to do spawn kills basically that's just how the spawn works if you're on this side spawn over here the other team will be over here or if most of your team is over here but you're over here by yourself they're going to spawn people closest to where no one is and that's basically how it, it works and that's why it's on the opposite direction of the you know uh, map all right now the next tip i have for you guys is to basically check your settings a lot of people don't check their settings which are really important to your gameplay you want to make sure your sensitivity is not too high not too low once again your sensitivity does decide how well you do aim so you don't want to have something that's too fast to you for well for you and you don't want to have something that's too slow for you you want to have it just right for you you have to basically work on that one sensitivity once you guys decide what feels good to you you want to make sure you stick to that sensitivity and only sensitivity if you guys do keep switching sensitivities it's going to mess up your muscle memory so i can't go from one day to you know 0 0.36 to like you know 2.8 or 1 that's going to mess me up a lot so you want to make sure you stick to one you know sensitivity and you work on that and then you want to make sure you have your fov up straight you want to make sure fov is not too high but not too low for you because you don't want to be able to see too much stuff and then you know you're not going to have a good higher uh or i guess you say frame rate but you don't want to have something that's too low where you can't see any enemies and then you want to make sure that you have toggle to sprint off and you can have double tap w to sprint on yeah i don't use aim key so you guys do not have to use that but you can change your you know uh i guess you say key bond so i would do that if you guys are not already if you guys do not like the key bonds you already have um you also could learn how to you know do other stuff and turn off these settings if you guys are trying to get better you know uh fov well not fov but fps and then when you guys do play the game for instance um i'm gonna spawn in you guys can see there's something on the bottom left that basically has west north south and east basically this is called the uh radar and it does tell you enemies that are close by which is why i said you need to make sure that you have like sometimes a suppressor you don't always need a suppressor and most people don't need it but if you are a person who likes to fight aggressively i would definitely recommend that you guys do get a suppressor on your weapon because it really does help you out a lot and it does help you you know be on the side of being hidden but also making you be able to hit a lot more shots a lot of people don't like you know um suppressors but i do like them a lot and it does help you with a lot of first shot accuracy i believe so i would definitely invest into getting that it's once again free all you have to do is get eliminations with your weapon i believe it's like 150 kills so make sure you guys get that if you guys have not already i right, guys now another trip i'm gonna uh, basically another uh i guess you could say trick or a tip i can give you guys about how to basically play the game is to make sure you learn how to pre-fire let's say um pre-firing is basically where you aim or you basically shoot for the person even there so let's say i know someone's gonna pop up right here right and they're like let's say i see them peek out right and i know that i know they're gonna peek out right i do this and they get basically demolished because they aim for too long because i know they're gonna peek out and when they peek out they're gonna take too long right so let's say i'm on the side instead right and i know someone's right here right 
you just pre-fire you don't want you don't want to pre-fire for too long but if you know they're going to peek out you want to make sure you pre-fire a little bit not too long pre-firing is basically your friend you want to use this appropriately if you do it wrongly it can affect you in a bad way because if you do it wrongly you're going to run out of ammo and you have to reload obviously if you play invasive and evasive you will not have to worry about that but if you guys don't have that mastered yet you want to make sure you learn how to pre-fire correctly um another way to pre-fire is basically if i know someone's going to peek out here i keep you know shooting for they even peek out not for too long you want to do it like maybe like three or two times but if you see they're going to stay out you keep doing it over and over you get what i mean so that's just a tip of how to pre-fire and whatnot and also another tip i didn't really you know go over is you guys need to learn to use like the environment around you like you can literally like use like an obby for instance if you guys play obby you guys see like you have to jump on a lot of stuff and whatnot use stuff like this to your advantage like let's say for instance i know someone's over here right i'm gonna hop on this right or let's say someone's on the opposite side of this right and they think i'm gonna come around here right instead of me doing what i want what they want me to do i'll hop on side of this to look over here and i'll be like wow crouch you see what i mean like that's something you guys have to learn how to use like it's easy and it's not hard a lot of people don't realize how to use it but it's really simple and whatnot but another tip that i need to get you guys to understand is to turn up your volume i never have my volume if you guys noticed and that's why i do mess up a lot inside of gameplays but i don't like to have my sound on because it tends to get picked up on my microphone so i don't like to pick up you know by have pick up my sound by having my you know volume up at all because i tend to listen to music and i don't want to get copyrighted ever so that's why i always you know make sure i have my volume off but even when i you know don't even record i do have my volume off i just listen to music so once again um having your volume on volume on does help you know where the enemy is or where they are shooting from so it really does help you out a lot if you guys don't have it on i do recommend you guys turn it on right now and it will help you out a lot the next thing i actually want to recommend you guys is that you turn down your graphics a lot of people don't realize but turn down your graphics really does help your fps and the higher fps that means the higher uh frames you can see obviously if you have fps unlocked that'll help you if you already get 60 f 60 fps and you can't get more than that don't even worry about getting fps locker i have a video on it if you guys want to go check it out uh it's easy and it's pretty quick to be honest so yeah um and this is pretty much the rest of the video if you guys did enjoy the video and you guys learned something make sure to drop a like subscribe i would really appreciate it oh my god like i really would appreciate it we're trying to have 15k subscribers anyway guys it's with squadron and i'm out